Hello and welcome to another episode of Five Things We Learned. Today we're reflecting on the game against Palace at the weekend. Numero one, Deli Ali is as good as we all think. He nutmegs people for fun, he scored on his England debut, and what a goal that was by the way. And his goal against Palace at the weekend, my oh my, was incredible. And that was in front of Roy Hodgson as well. If he doesn't get PFA player of the, young player of the season this season, then I don't know what else he has to do. He's got his feet on the ground as well. He's got a massive future ahead of him and we all love him. Numero two, we realised against Palace that we are actually human. Now, the injury to Jan Vertonghen, I don't know how long it's going to be for, hopefully not too long, but it just goes to show that our, player, our core players aren't invincible. So it makes you think, don't want to jinx anything, um, but if it was to happen to Harry Kane, it makes you think, do we actually need to bring in another striker? No, we don't want to mix things up with the team spirit at the moment. But if something like that were to happen to our core players, then do we need the players to bring in? If it was to happen to Kane, I mean, you know, we've got the players like Chadley and Son who are proving that they can score goals up top. And also being able to bring Kevin Vimmer in in place of Jan Vertonghen isn't anything bad. He's only proven that he's, he's just a top quality player. So let us know what you think about that one in the comment section below. Numero three. In contrast to last season, we are showing that we have the confidence and mentality to come back from a goal down and beat teams. I mean, we showed this at Pal against Palace. We showed it against Sunderland last weekend. We've shown it in other games. I mean, just off the top of my head, the City game, we were a goal behind against Carabag. Uh, Swansea, we were behind. Yes, we drew, but we showed great resilience to come back in these games. It, we were throwing away wins, um, leads at the start of the season against uh, Leicester and Stoke. And it, we've just completely, we seem to have completely changed our mentality. We can now, we now believe that we can go on and win these games. So that was a, a major factor at the weekend of something that I learned is that we are showing that we have got a winning mentality to go on and beat these teams, even if we're a goal down. So that's another one that we learned. Number four, we need to look forward and not backwards. Now, to put that into context, a lot of people have been talking about the Leicester loss and if we'd have won that, we'd be top of the league, blah, blah, blah. But if you look at where we're sitting in the league at the moment, we are five points clear of United. We're five points adrift of Leicester, who are top. So, you know, we've got to start looking ahead and be positive and look at the situation that the team's in at the moment. We've got great team spirit. We're fighting from goals down. You know, we, we don't believe that we should be beaten in any of these games. And yes, we've got a few hard fixtures coming up, but what's to say that we can't beat these teams? We've got a quality side, we've got great players, and I think we need to start being more positive as a group of fans and start getting behind the team and believe that we can win all these games and potentially challenge for the title, who knows? So let us know what you think about that one in the comment section below. Numero Cinco, AKA number five. Having all the possession means that we can be a bit too casual in possession and not have enough urgency. I mean, against Palace, there were times when we were a bit sloppy with the ball and our build-up wasn't that fast. And I think there were times when maybe we could have you know, gone at them a bit faster and there were also periods of time we had luck on our side. You know, they hit the bar twice in the space of about three seconds. And, you know, although teams that are, that are great do need that bit of luck on their side so it was good to see that we had a bit of luck of our, on our side at the weekend but there are times when we can be a bit too sloppy and casual with the ball for instance their goal came from um, came from out wide but a few seconds before that Jan Vertonghen had a perfect opportunity to just clear his lines and boot it out but we didn't we tried being too cute with it and playing it out ended up giving possession away on the edge of our box ball comes in lo and behold we've conceded an own goal so we do need to start you know being a bit less casual with the ball and start getting a bit more urgency into our play but other than that you know we're we're playing some great football at the moment so that's the five things we learned against Palace let us know if you learned anything else in the comments section below. Also, make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And also make sure to follow us at Twitter at SpurredOnTV. 3-1 at Sellers Park. Have you been 1-0 down at half-time? And Deli Alley has scored the goal of the season. Brian, how do you feel? Ecstatic. The goal was probably one of the best goals of the season. 